That is right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to What Do You See with DC TV. Welcome back to my uh oh, dude. Really? Come up with something original instead of ripping off my background. <sighs> I got a great idea for something. Then stay tuned. You're watching DC TV. Here's your host, the voice, Dave Canning. Welcome to my house. Play that music to turn out. Show me what you do now. We don't have to go out. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my house. Welcome back to the Dave Cave. And most importantly, welcome back to Dennis's house as well. And most importantly, welcome back to the Micro Brawler broadcast. I am one of your hosts, the voice, Dave Canning, joined by the founding father, Nick Carpenter, the big cross man, the Micro Brawler scholar, Mr. Ryan Crossley, and our guest this week from the junkyard, Pro Wrestling Junkies, what do you say with DDJ, Mr. Dennis Day Jr. Dennis, welcome to the Micro Brawler broadcast. Gentlemen, thank you so much for having me on. It, it is an it's honor busy. to it's an honor to have that iconic fish tank on this show. That is one of my favorite displays that we've shown during when we went through all of them. It's it's a great display. It's a complete display too, right? Uh, minus the Cardona and uh, Myers variants that they were selling on their site, and okay. the two Chase uh, crate brawlers and uh, the white elbow pack Cole Cabana. So it's an almost complete. It's yeah. still still very impressive. It changes every minute, too. Yes. Speaking of change, as Dennis alluded to, we need an original idea. And this was what we thought was an original idea, but I, I have some, some very sad news, ladies and gentlemen. And that is that this will be the final episode of the Micro Brawler broadcast. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Welcome Just kidding. Well, I'm, I'm almost kidding. This is the last episode of the Micro Brawler broadcast. However, we are simply rebranding, rename it, whatever you want to call it. We will officially be going by the Wrestling Nerd Broadcast, and that is nerd spelled N-R-D, the Wrestling Nerd Broadcast our goal is to eventually try and make money off this. Let's be honest. We want to sell some shirts. We would uh, potentially be able to monetize on YouTube. And we don't know the legality behind calling ourselves the Micro Brawler Broadcast. So to avoid that headache, we are going to rebrand, go by the name, the Wrestling Nerd Broadcast. We hope you'll stay with us. We're still going to talk about brawlers. We're going to be very brawler oriented. But it allows us to explore other things as well, if we want to, about wrestling. It will still be wrestling. It's, that's not going to change. We're still three nerds, four nerds from across the country. Literally, we're across the country right now. We're in three different time zones. Yes, the, the four nerdsmen of, of the apocalypse. If this comes your way, now. yes, if this comes your way, you're safe. I promise. But yes, we are. This will be the final episode of the Michael Brawler broadcast. After this, we will be the wrestling nerd broadcast so we we thank you for joining us for the first six episodes and uh we hope you will join us for the wrestling nerd broadcast when that starts next week on 316 what 316 what i said 316 what? Okay. <laughs> just making sure that doesn't like foam up all the way oh it's rising a little bit <laughs> but yeah so we uh we had one hectic week um in Brawlerland, but you know what? Before we get that, because I want to make sure he gets plenty of time to get his stuff in. Dennis, tell us where you come from. What do you say? Talk to me. Well, I hail from uh, South Elgin, Illinois. It's about 45 minutes west of Chicago, so I'm actually very close to the store. So I'm lucky enough to where I can just go pick up my orders instead of having to pay to get them shipped to me. Um, but yeah, as you guys know, um, you guys were all on uh, my most recent episode of my podcast, What Do You Say with DDJ. Yep. Uh, it drops every Monday morning at midnight on uh, all major podcasting platforms as well as YouTube. Uh, my show uh, is part of the Pro Wrestling Junkies Pod Squad. 
uh, where we also have such great podcasts as The Junkyard, which is something that I do along with my guys, Spencer and Jovan, uh, where we talk about the previous week in wrestling, and then we do uh, roundtable discussions on various topics. Uh, this uh, mo- Our most recent roundtable discussion was on uh, was coming off the news of the uh, Paul White uh, signing, where we talked about uh, big uh, when wrestlers jump ship, like big time uh, changes in the land of, you know, scenery and stuff. Uh, and then, yeah, we also have, uh, we have a such good shoot, which uh, my friends, Brad, or excuse me, Steven, Isaac and Shane, they just talk about random stuff. Sometimes they review an occasional bad pay-per-view or they just, they'll have somebody on. They just recently had Vampiro on for a show. And then uh, last but not least, the newest addition to our pod uh, pod squad is uh, Br- uh, Brad and Steven talking wrestling. It's just my friend Brad and then our, our little dude uh, in the group, Steven Spice, who I believe is like about eight or nine years old. And they uh, talk about wrestling. They review a wrestling movie and then just, yeah, that's about it. So, and also part of the Pro Wrestling Junkies Facebook group. Come check us out if you're not a member. Uh, we do all sorts of things. Uh, we do card breaks, raffles, uh, predictions contests, uh, comment contests, mis- uh, mis- clue contests. Uh, we do uh, mis- uh, virtual meet and greets as well. So if you guys aren't uh, part of the group, please uh, check us out and give us a like and uh, join the group. And that's why we're changing our name so we can do cool stuff like that. But we can't do it if we don't own the name. We have to own the name. You got to be able to, you know. So, uh, yes, we are we are graced by the president. We had a great time on your show, Dennis. We, we will list that. We'll put it in the description below to make sure that you go check out episode awesome. 30 of What Do You Say with DDJ. It was awesome. We talked for over an hour. It was incredible. It was awesome. Yes. Uh, awesome. So so we had a lot of, lot of brawler news this week. That is – what's that? That's all that good brawler news coming in on the uh, on the wire. So we had we had uh, was it Monday? Big sexy dropped, right? Yes. Monday, yeah. Monday they dropped Kevin Nash brawler. It was too sweet, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, you could hear people howling like a wolf pack because they didn't get one. One uh, th- limit run of three fifty, uh, and that is the, the the newest brawler from Pro Wrestling Tees. But that wasn't it. We also got uh, Jordan Grace released a new brawler for presale, and uh, Jonathan Gresham dropped one as well for presale. And we found out that there's sixty. Is that what we said? There's 60 that's, in the pipeline? Yeah. That's what Ryan Barkin said today on the VIP group. He said there's 60 plus in production right now. Nick, did you tell your wife that there's 60 brawlers in production? Because <laughs> I, I just want to be able to fly on the wall and just like, that's hey, dear. Pretty, pretty insane. Hopefully they spread them out. 60 but brawlers coming. I feel like... <laughs> They come closer and closer together now every week. Yeah, like- <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like it never dropped like this before. Like I, obviously, I've been like a, an avid collector for too long, but I feel like it was just like here's seven brawlers, you're good for a year or something like that. <laughs> yep. But but now it's just and it's crazy because I seen I just seen somebody posted in the group, but they just said like remember like six months or not even say probably less than six months ago when Ryan Barkin was talking about how bad the brawlers were selling, how he's talking about not making them anymore. And yeah. Stuff. Like, this is now- <laughs> and he, and he blatantly lied to me because la- the previous Monday I was like, Oh man, are we, are we getting a new brawler? And he, he puts in the comments like, I was like, I don't know what to believe. And he goes, believe me that when I say I will never s- release a new brawler on a Monday, and he, and he released a new brawler on a Monday. So it got me. I got keep me waiting. Too. I keep waiting for Doink the clown. One day, one day, one day, they can make up to it with for me with Repo Man. I mean, they got sixty of them down the pipeline. Six, so there's probably a good chance. There's gotta be a Doink the Clown. There's a Doink the Clown. There's a Dink the Clown. There's uh, ooh, uh, a negative one brawler. I want a negative one brawler. Uh, who else could we do? Um, I want a Dennis Day Junior brawler. I want, I want Ryan, one of those too. I want a Ryan Barkin brawler. I want one of those too. That's what I'm thinking. If, that, if everybody can just commission their own brawlers, let's say that we can't get the nerd podcast brawlers. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we can't have the micro brawler broadcast name, but we can have micro brawlers of ourselves. <laughs> I just want to be like doing like what would what would your po- let's Nick what would your pose be of your brawler if you had to like oh, flex on it? Like would you be like uh, this? I would probably hold something. I just I don't I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I do. Like would I be like this? I think I'd be like. My arms in the air, maybe. <laughs> I can I like point to something? 
I would That'd be mine right there. Him. I'd be doing the point like, yeah. <laughs> like it's, but you can set us up so it's like the Brady Bunch. I can just be pointing at Nick <laughs> and point at Ryan. Like that guy right there. Um, so yeah, what are, what are our thoughts on these? Like, obviously, we had the the limited uh, Nash. Drive. Did everyone get a Nash? Yeah. Okay, Forty five so. minutes later than it was supposed to drop. Well, no, he just sat around, dude. He didn't. Uh, Forty five <laughs> minutes after twelve forty five is a lot closer than like five p.m. Yeah, that's a long time in the middle of the day on a Monday when you're trying to work. <laughs> yep. Yeah, no, it's it off for so long. It was, I just kept it refresh, refresh, Looking refresh. Looking at that Tomatonga like, t-shirt. Yes, yeah, so I'm like, <laughs> come on. There's got to be something new. What is it going to be? Because after after the previous week when I was like thinking it was going to be a brawler, but it wound up just being the AEW Series 2. Is that what they put on the website? Yes, that's what yeah. they put up. Yeah, they, yeah put the, the series, they put the Series 2s up, and I'm like, oh, it's not a brawler poop. So You know, say the Kevin Nash drop, that was my wife's birthday. I took the day off. To spend time, no plans, but then <laughs> you did she's not a, spend she's time sleep- and you had a plan. <laughs> she sleeps later than me. So I was like, come on, Barkin, let's get this thing going before she wakes up, you know. You're lucky on the West Coast because it's all in like the morning for you. You have your whole day. Like, on the East Coast, people, this is like slam in the middle of the day. <laughs> Can't they like hook somebody like me up? I'm up at 5 a.m. every morning. Like, K Fabe, it's 11 15 right now on the East Coast. I have work in eight hours. But, like, let's drop a brawler for the early morning crowd. Like, that's <laughs> what I want. Um, so, I, I don't know if we even address this on Dennis's show. This is completely terrible transition. But, Dennis, how did you exactly get into collecting brawlers? And, and how did your collection start? Well, uh, we talked about, like, because I think one of the questions I asked you was what your first brawler was. And then when did it go from, you know, being you know, just something that was in the crate to, you know, where we're at now. Um, for me, yeah, it was started out, it was the November uh, 2017 crate. Uh, I believe it was the uh, gold Pentagon was the one that came in that. That was my first. Um, and I thought these were cool, you know, but I didn't really think anything of them. And it's just over time has, you know, just just getting these in and thinking certainly over time, it just grew from like, you know, something that was, you know, in the crate, you know, and it's just like, man, I actually really like these. And, you know, the display possibilities, as you can see, be, be you know, behind me and stuff. The, the epic um, tank. You know, it's just, it's, it's yes, the tank. Um, but, uh, but no, it's just, it was just kind of a natural progression and stuff. And just once I kind of saw that, you know, there were a lot of other people out there like me, you know, such as you guys right here. I was like, okay, this is cool, you know, and you know, I, this was like the, I didn't really collect anything for the longest time until these came along and yeah. started collecting them, you know, and it was just like, you know, it's kind of become my Pokemon. I got to catch them all. You do. Now what, um, I I've said on this, this show multiple times and my, my biggest journey was to get the hangman. Has there ever been a brawler that eluded you for a really long time that you were trying to get that you were like, I, I don't want to pay that much, then it, but it just fell right in your lap, almost in the perfect price range. Like, what you was know, your white I've actually, you, you know, it's kind of funny that you mentioned that. I, I have never paid more than retail for any of the brawlers I have. Wow. Um, obviously, I got all the ones in the, the crates. Um, be, be, you know, being lucky enough to live close enough to the store to where I can, you know, go there on a whim. And I go there enough to the point where pretty much everybody that works there knows me yep. and stuff. So I was able to get like all the, cause they would have all, they would stock all the extras they had left over from the crates in the store, you know, and people could go in and buy them. And that's how I got like all the ones that were in the crates before I started getting into them. And then obviously when the waves dropped and things like that, but a uh, real funny story though, I, I will say as I guess one that turned out to probably be the best deal I got was uh, I, I happened to go to the store one day and, you no, know, but I think I picked up an order left, and then I had heard through the grapevine that I believe it was the Billy Gun and the Xbox ones were getting pulled, and like so, as soon the next chance I had to go out to the store, I ran, I went out there, and they still had a few on the peg, so I managed to get one of each of those, and I think it was like the next day or the day after I got the brawlers, they ended up getting pulled. They ended up pulling those too. So I guess you could say that's, that's probably be the like the closest thing luck, to a white luck, whale luck, is that I got uh, Billy Gunn and x pac like the day before they were pulled. Now you said like you got the, the overstock brawler, like from obviously you didn't start at crate one. So you got 
you backtracked right. a little bit with them. Now, basically, that's like the, yes. the mystery grab bag that they have on the website, right? Essentially? No, actually. Um, but you could just I'll be just like, oh, do you have any? Like, like, do you have? Yeah, like, oh, it was basically the like I would. Yeah, like any of the ones that I did that were out before I really started getting into them and stuff. Like they said they because I've I've helped them pack the crates before, so I've seen like how many they used to have with some of these and like that they would be swimming in these mm -hmm. and a lot of times they would put them up for sale like in the store or on the site like you know whatever they had left over but i would go to the store and be like oh yeah you know especially like when they had sales and stuff i'd be like okay i still need this one this one this one so i would grab a few you know and just buy them then until i eventually mm -hmm. caught up so that that's kind of like how it was for me that's that's awesome. I that's that's definitely a wrestling bucket list item for me. I want to go to the pro wrestling tea store because I've, I've always yes. wanted to go. It looks it looks. I remember awesome. seeing pictures of the store when they, they had the Billy Gunn and X Pac on it. I remember like trying to get people before waiting for the group or anything, but it was just like DMs on Facebook and Twitter and stuff, like trying <laughs> to get people to go to the store and get me one and stuff. And like you said, they were gone in like within days. Uh, yeah and i used to but like i used to have a few people that uh were part of the vip group that would you know that i got to be friends with and stuff and i kind of got to be somewhat well known you know or you know kind of had a little bit of a reputation in the group and stuff or like i i would i'd had a few people like hey i'm going to the store and i'd have a few people reach out to me like hey you know can you pick this up for me or mm -hmm. can you grab me one of the mystery boxes or whatever you know and i would just be like yeah just you know just paypal me the money plus shipping and i got you yeah, you are you are famous because I I remember the first time I saw you was on the behind the merch documentary with yes. uh, PWTs. I was like, I I was like, oh wow, somebody I because I had like seen the Hey Ryan shirt online. I was like, I wonder if anybody ever bought that. And then I see you wearing like, oh shit, somebody bought it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yep. that was that was the first time I ever met you, Dennis, vicariously yeah, through YouTube. Yeah, um, and it was really it was really cool to be part of that documentary because um I had you know. I actually got to meet the guy who uh, did the documentary. Uh, his name is Christian Coronado. In fact, uh, we hung out together because he came in for a revolution last year, um, you know, at, uh, out in Chicago. And, you know, we got to know each other, hang out. I took a picture with him and stuff. And then obviously, you know, I had heard about this beforehand. Um, I was at the store pretty much all, uh, all out weekend. And that's where a lot of the footage came from and stuff. And then, um, Ryan, I remember Ryan actually reaching out to me on uh, via Facebook Messenger because I've gotten to know Ryan pretty well. You know, when I go to the store, I always talk to him, uh, talk to Frank. You know, I talk to Ryan's dad a lot when he's there and stuff. And uh, he reached out to me. He's like, hey, would you mind, you know, submitting, a, you know, a short little video for this documentary? And I was, you know, you know, thrilled to that, you know, he thought enough of me to want me to be a part of this. So that's kind of, you know, being able to do that was really cool. And then, yeah. And, you know, seeing it for the first time and seeing it, how it came together. And uh, then also, obviously, you know, when they were, uh, the DVD was put in one of the crates a few months ago, I thought it was really cool to actually have a physical copy of this, you know, really cool documentary, which really gives a, a is, is, is a really great insight to what they do and how that business mm -hmm. runs. Cause there is so much to uh, what Ryan and his guys do. And I think it's great that they allowed everyone a little peek behind the curtain to see what exactly how, what, what goes on. Yeah, I, th I definitely I love I love that documentary it goes from f for lack of a better term farm to table, you know, how it mm -hmm. goes from Chicago to here in New York or Florida or uh, California or down the street to you. Yep. Um, so, yeah, that would that was awesome. Um, we also got some more news uh, about brawlers that there's going to be new packaging. So if you bought an impact brawler, you had no choice and got it loose uh, pretty much. <laughs> It's true. I'm sorry. No, you're um, right. Yeah. It's, uh, uh, but so they're, they're doing, um, I don't know if anybody has the term, it's like clasp uh, mm. uh, bubbles now that you can reseal the, the package now. So you can, you can be mid on card and loose all in the same day. So uh, what do you, what do you guys thoughts, Ryan? Uh, what are your, what are your thoughts on the new packaging that we're going to get for brawlers? maybe just maybe i'll open one now maybe maybe whoa whoa breaking whoa. news ryan crossley's gonna let it breathe it'll be like uh, and no offense it's just the more plentiful ones it'll be a jeff cobb or maybe a jim ross you know i'll, I'll test the waters 
and we will have that unboxing on the Wrestling okay. Nerd broadcast, ladies and gentlemen. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. No, uh, I think it's real cool, though. Um, you know, it gives options for people, you know, if you're in between or, or mm-hmm. you know, we don't have the, like, I don't want to, I'm still going to try and bite my tongue. I don't want to point fingers at impact, but we don't have that sort of issue where, you know, you receive them all off card Definitely. you're paying for signed or you're paying for carded. But um, I heard some people suggest maybe, I mean, we'll see what Ryan and the crew do, but even putting a sticker, you know, some people seem oh, to be concerned. Yeah, a sticker on one little, le- you know, one little clasp to, you know, to still have that mint on card thing. I don't know. So, so, oh, so this, so this, so this way it's, it's not resealed. Like how yeah. we talk right. about like picking the staples out of the original bag. Cause that's, that's what I used to do. Yeah. Cause I, I just feel bad. Like I, well, I feel bad just ripping them, you know, I, I, and, I picked every single one, <laughs> but I mean, I, I do like it because how I've seen like with the, I don't know if I have one over here with the uh, the old jake negative um but the jake one i bent the card a little bit opening it as, as careful as i tried and obviously you rip part of the cardboard off too so i think especially if you're just trying to save the the trading card on the back this makes it great so you're not ripping the backing off now they also said that the, the actual carding is going to be like a thicker cardboard too so yeah it's not that's get as bent as easy like, exactly so that's good. I mean, at least they're they're no- noticing the mistakes that are happening and they're actually exactly. trying to change yes. it. Yes. So. They they realize there's an issue, they're resolving it properly, which is business 101. Make it I don't know, it's something with the glue or something. I mean, I don't know, but obviously yeah, well, I, I, it, I it ain't working. It's happened to enough of them. It ain't working. <laughs> The beauty of it is with me being guy that opens them, you know, that's not an issue. So because no, I don't care yeah. and stuff. So <laughs> but no, for those that you know that collect these men on keep them you know in the packaging men on card you know this is something that you know i'm sure the majority of them are going to be happy but i mean of course you're going to have your little probably number if you're few or whatever that are going to about it but i mean those are probably the same people that about everything so yeah unfortunately well i've seen somebody say i don't want to say the person's name on here but say uh, it say it <laughs> say it i <laughs> dare you we they want bought, names we're wrestling nerds we don't back two of each brawler one to keep loose and one to keep mock, and now they're only going to buy one because of this thing. Both. So it might actually cut down on sales a little bit. <laughs> it's interchangeable. Oh, yeah. uh, you mean scalpers can't buy more than one? Oh, oh scalpers. scalpers. <laughs> Cody wants to fight you, scalpers. <laughs> Well, my original top three idea was going to be uh, wrestlers that are that have a brawler that you've met, but Nick or Ryan, one of you two, didn't have, haven't met it. Well, I thought of some. That'd be a good some. one, too. Because I, like, I, I got I a good... A NXT Largo event a long time ago and took a piss next to, um, what's his name, uh, Juice Robinson. When he Count it. Before he was Juice Robinson. Count it. <laughs> That's a nice match, buddy. He said, thank you. And then we both washed our hands and left the bathroom. <laughs> Well, since we're talking about people we met in the bathroom, I actually met Papa Buck in the bathroom at All In. Can I keep nice. this in? Okay, we are recording. Can I keep this in? Yeah, let's sure. let's let's talk about wrestlers we met in the bathroom. So this will this is <laughs> we're going to talk about this later too. I met Ken Shamrock in the men's room at an Olive Garden when I was in fifth grade. <laughs> took a, took a leak. For the story. I took I took a leak uh, next to him. And uh, I come back, I, I, I'm going back to my dinner table, and all of a sudden I see Draws sitting at the table with Ken Shamrock. I run past this waiter, almost knock him over, like carrying a tray of <laughs> and his breadsticks. I'm like, mom, 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 Ken Shamrock and Draws are here. My mom has no idea who those are. But my <laughs> sister did. So I was like, I need, I need a pen, I need a pen. And I brought the menu over and... Uh, and uh, I had them sign it, and they were draws. Thought I was a good artist, you know. He was awesome, and Ken Shamrock was as well. So that's right. I've taken a leak next to the most deadliest man on the planet, Ken Shamrock. So I have one also. Oh, uh, who do you got? Who have you met um, in the bathroom? Luchasaurus in uh, full gear. <laughs> it was uh, at a bar wrestling in L.A. And I think he might have been, I think he had like a ROH match or two. And I saw that and I saw him wrestle at the bar wrestling. And, and I was like, Hey, I saw you in ROH also. And, you know, he's like, yeah, hopefully they signed me. I was like, I hope so. And that's about it. Try and keep it short, you know, conversation at a minimum. 
Right. That's pretty good bathroom etiquette. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can i get an autograph yeah. so let us know what wrestlers you've encountered in the uh, men's or women's restrooms uh in the comment section below and now back to your regularly scheduled broadcast <laughs> so nick you, we were talking scalpers um you were mentioning something to me before about matt cardona and a, a virtual show with a brawler so tell me more about that okay well i was listening to the podcast the Z True Island, True Long Island. Is that right? Did I do it right? The Z, the yeah. Z True Long Island story. They, it's like him and Matt Cardona, they recap like episode by episode. Gotta get that, but gotta get that I, Bud Light. That Bud well, Light <laughs> But at the end of it, he mentioned that they were doing a live show. I wrote it all down here. It's uh April 8th during WrestleMania weekend. FWF okay. Live, the main event, is Matt Cardona versus VSK for the Creator Pro Championship. Okay. But if you order this on pay-per-view or live, live, I don't know how they're doing it yet and stuff, you will not only receive the event, but you will receive a limited edition pen for the event and a limited edition micro brawler for the event. Ooh. So that's something to look forward to and to keep our eyes on. They announced yeah. a price for that yet? I don't if it's know. on... Fifteen dollars. I, I believe I saw forty dollars or fifty dollars, but I couldn't find it during the break. Talking Chopper Mania is fifteen. That's where I max out. <laughs> hey, micro uh, brawler. Yeah, yeah, you didn't get a micro brawler. With that's Chopper true. Mania. That's true, and I, I may have to go to eBay for it. But, but hey, this might be like a a uh, trend now. They might start doing that with Talking Chopper Mania with brawlers. Ooh, give me that sex first. They have a, a oh, cast yeah. of characters. Need, need a Chad yes. too bad and a. Dude, we need a karate man micro brawl. Yes. Or what's the uh, like the fake the fake nature boy on the talking shop? Paul Lee. Paul Lee, the nature boy. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. Oh, that would be man. nice too. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so we mentioned that we're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to look on eBay for that uh, major pod uh, brawler. But speaking of eBay, uh, we are going to introduce a new segment that will not just be a part of the Micro Brawler broadcast. It will be a part of the Wrestling Nerd broadcast as well. And we call it WTF, What the Fig. And that is we're going to bring you uh, insane eBay listings, one a week at least, for for what we see. So the, first, the one we're going to bring up, um, it is for Kevin Nash. As we mentioned earlier, Kevin Nash got released. Uh, the brawler got released earlier this week, and the asking prices were astronomical. It was ridiculous. I'm trying to find it on my phone right now. What have I done? I'll speak in the meantime. I'm I'm glad I picked yes. him up because he's a he's a top three guy for me. So if I would have missed it to pay this, you know, it seems like the minimum's a hundred bucks. That's I would have. Mm -hmm. It would have been my first uh, first time missing out, I think. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Go go was, ahead, Dennis. It was really close for me too. Uh, I work for a company that delivers packages for Amazon, and the time that the brawler was supposed to drop is normally around the time that we line up in our vans as we get ready to go, you know, load out and stuff. And so I'm sitting there, refresh, 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 nothing. Got to pull my van in to load up. I'm thinking, oh great, I hope I don't, you know, miss out. You know, so I got my van loaded as I was kind of going in between bags. I was hitting refresh real quick and nothing. So then it gets to, you know, okay, my van's loaded, waiting to get the okay to head out. And literally like five minutes after I got that, I started driving just about ready to get on the tollway to head out to my route and boom, it dropped. And I was just like trying to go really slow in my van and uh, get it in. And luckily I was able to get, get it all taken care of before I got on the, the tollway to head out. So. Yeah. Four, four of the limited 350 in this group right here. We are wrestling nerd royalty, ladies and gentlemen. And I just want to say, for anybody out there that has trouble with these drops or anything, important, make sure you're signed in. Make sure your PayPal is signed in. Make sure everything is ready to go. You don't have time to type in credit card information. You don't have time to put in your address. Yeah. And all this stuff needs to be loaded up and ready to go. Okay, <laughs> to the contrary on that, though, I did sign in, and then anytime, like, when I went to buy it, it kept kicking me out. So, I don't know if anybody else ever had that issue. Are you um, doing PayPal? Uh, it was my credit card. Like, my credit card's saved in on it, so. Me, I, maybe. I downloaded it. Many of you downloaded the, uh, the app, the Pro SMT's app. But didn't they say they were closing the app? 
Because I don't know. they were having yeah, like that messaging problem a, a few weeks ago. I knew ago. they were the, the, the text message. Oh, maybe maybe that's it. Yeah, maybe that was it. So. The app is just like a mirror of like the website, basically. That's what I used to get yep. the ass and the word great. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's great. But yes, as we will bring up on the screen right now, we have four Kevin Nash uh, brawlers for sale. They went up immediately. Um, I think maybe even before they went out. Uh, sold out officially but yeah we've got uh one two of them for two hundred dollars uh one for two hundred fifty dollars and one at an absolute bargain of 199 dollars and 99 cents and the best thing you'll see on this picture is the first one is sponsored for some reason what the fig like come on 200 bucks like really 200 bucks like i like kevin nash as much as next person kevin diesel versus mabel at SummerSlam is one of the greatest matches of all time i don't care what anyone says but like 200 bucks like owen hart kurt angle did not go for 200 bucks that's just ridiculous right weren't there less weren't there wasn't the production run on both angle and owen smaller than the nash i thought they were like only 150 right I think yeah. one of them was. Were they both one fifty? I thought one I was two fifty. I know Owen was one fifty. Yeah, maybe. Kurt, I think Kurt I mean, Angle was one fifty too. No, I think yeah. Owen was two fifty. I think Kurt was one fifty. Yeah, it was definitely. Still, I mean, this was three hundred and fifty of these Nashes. Right. Yeah, and but to sell for two hundred, I mean, with no disrespect to, I mean, it's a great looking Nash ball, but it's not like it's you know like. The golden Okada for detail purpose, like that's what I'm getting at. Like it's not and that price will probably come down. Yeah, I would. I would it's just the so. new. It's just the but, new thing and stuff. I mean, unless I mean people will people pay for it. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. I'm not yeah, like we'll, we'll see. But you know what? No, nothing will overtop the king of what the figs, and that is an X Pac listed on Mercari for two thousand dollars, ladies and gentlemen. If you are the one to buy that X Pac, you let me know. Show me the proof, and you will get to be an additional host on this show permanently. Not a guest spot. You will get to be on this show. I'll give you my spot. Like Arn Anderson not his dog gave. spot, not his liver and spot. My spot. My spot on the couch. You get to inherit the Dave Cave. 2000 bucks. Go <laughs> buy it. Go. And I just want to say that if anybody is in the market to buy an Xbox, I will sell mine for $1,995. Yeah. There you go. Cutthroat. Just, just DMs open. Hit me up. It's for sale. <laughs> that's Man, crazy. That price, I would <laughs> some as well. I'll give you nineteen dollars and ninety five cents. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna set some other offers first. I'll all get right. back to you. All right, all right. We'll make a deal one day. Trust me. You're gonna need those diapers, kid. I, I'm telling you. So uh, yeah, if you ever find an outrageous WTF listing on eBay for a micro brawler, let us know in the micro brawler fan group. Of course, join the micro brawler fan group. That's how we all came to know, love, and respect one another. Uh, and so we're going to get to our favorite segment of the week. It is Top Three Tuesday, boys. Yes, Top Three Tuesday. And with Top Three Tuesday, we allowed our guest. From what do you say with DDJ, Mr. Dennis Day Jr., to select our top three Tuesday subject. And this week, it is your three favorite NWA champions that you want to see in brawler form, right? Did I get that right? Yeah. Boom. That's correct. All right. So, Mr. Dennis Day Jr., you are our guest of honor. We will let you start off top three Tuesday. Okay. So really quick, the reasoning behind uh, me going this route is the announcement that the NWA is coming back. They're, they got their pay-per-view coming up. I believe it's actually the same day as Fastlane, but I think it's earlier in the day. And then uh, Power will be returning uh, to this, but this time it'll be on Fight TV. And I'm a, he, I was a huge fan of that show, so I'm really excited about it. So, so, so it's not on YouTube anymore? It's, it's... As far as I know, no. That's why I okay. think all the content got pulled off of YouTube. Okay, okay. So, um, but my top three, so, uh, I'm going to go in order from three to one, uh, for number three, I'm going to go with uh surfer sting. Okay. That's cool. For, uh, like that. you know, won the NWA championship back is in 1990. And then also he won it once, you know, a couple times, I believe, uh, you know, in impact, but I mean, yeah, no, for me, it's gotta be surfer sting. I, yeah. I'm a huge fan of the surfer sting. Uh, my number two is actually the current NWA World Heavyweight Champion. That would be Nick Aldis. I just think Nick Aldis in the in the you know his three piece suit or just in his you know ring gear with the belt made just absolutely. And then my number one, give me Ric Flair in his rope from Stucky. Definitely, I like that list. 
I like that list a lot. It's a great th- top three. Uh, Ryan, why don't we go with you? Um, okay, no particular order. I'm going to start with Nick Aldis since Dennis took him. I, I agree. I think, uh, not to say I always fall to NWA, but I really appreciate what he's done, you know, his involvement with the brand. It's awesome. Um, second, uh, well, I'll go Dusty Rhodes. I like that. Oh, that's a good one. That that's was a one great I- one. That would bet was number four. Really nice. Yep. Um, and then just for maybe I didn't know the semi shock value, Bruno San Martino. Oh, I didn't know he was a NWA champion. There's an, an asterisk according to what I read. August 2nd, 1962, he beat Buddy Rogers, but he denied the belt because Buddy Rogers fought with an injury. So oh. I don't know how real it is, but he's kind ah. of August 2nd is my birthday, also. Oh, <laughs> happy birthday, Nick. <laughs> But I was not even thought of in 1969. So. <laughs> my brother and my sister weren't even thought of in 1969. They're older than me. My parents weren't even dating in 1969, I don't think. Neither were mine, actually. <laughs> I'm still the... Wait, Dennis, how old are you? I uh, turned 41 on uh, April 18th. Still still the bottom boom youngest guy in the room right here. <laughs> 32-year-old piece of gold. So, <laughs> Nick, why don't you give me uh, your top three of who you want? All right. Well, I'm, there's going to be some overlap, but I just picked my three most favorite NWA champions of all time, and that is Dusty Rhodes, Ric Flair, and Harley Race. Okay. I know we got the pint size All Star Harley Race, which looks that, good, but I want to doesn't see count Michael by Ball you. Version. Yeah, that that reminds me that um uh. Victoria Lisa Marie yeah, Ron, uh, that t- 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 <laughs> tweeted some like, "Oh, I'm I'm in here with him," and he goes, "No, you got a Brian Barton goes, no, you got a knockoff brawler. We got to get <laughs> you a real one. We'll make you a real one." <laughs> <laughs> I thought that uh, was that's great. typical Ryan for you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like that one. So, uh, so for my top three Tuesday, I went with just like everyone else, the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, woo, woo, uh, and then. Uh, <laughs> uh, bathroom uh conversation went with ken shamrock but i want ken shamrock holding a, ba- a basket of breadsticks from olive garden <laughs> <laughs> not virgil no no not virgil. That'll, that'll be down the line one day like chris jericho's talent he is unlimited uh and then my uh third one is shane douglas I think it'd be really cool, hold, like with a microphone and, and like you know action of throwing down the belt. I think that do be... they do they like actually recognize that as like Wh- as Wikipedia, they... <laughs> Wikipedia does. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I went off with. <laughs> so uh, yes, uh, that is that's our top three Tuesday. Let us know your top three in the comment section below while you're there. Hit that subscribe button; it's right there. Read the description so you can make your way over to Dennis's page on Pro Wrestling Junkies. Subscribe. Check out what do you say with DDJ Dennis? You have an Instagram, Twitter, anything like that. What else you want to? If you want to replug your stuff, go for it, my man. Yeah. So uh, I know you. We're all friends on Facebook, so you guys already know my Facebook. Uh, but yeah, for those of you who are listening to this, uh, you can follow me on Facebook at Dennis Day J, uh, Junior. Um, you know, I'm somewhat active in the Micro Roller fan group. Pretty active in the VIP group. You know, uh, pro wrestling junkies. You know, all over the place. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at Dennis W. Day Jr. Uh, my show, What Do You Say with DDJ, also has a page on Facebook. Just uh, type in What Do You Say with the question mark after say with DDJ. And then you can follow the show on Twitter at What Do You Say DDJ. And then again, you know, if you're not a member, go, uh, come check out Pro Wrestling Junkies. Join us. Uh, we do all kinds of fun things like do card breaks, meet and greets. Uh, we have a marketplace where if you got stuff you're looking to buy, sell, you know, trade you know welcome to do so um and then yeah uh check out the junkyard which is the other podcast they do with my guys spencer and jovan uh, that drops every tuesday uh morning uh and then yeah check out such good shoot go they go live on uh facebook every thursday night at 10 p.m eastern with the audio version to come on saturday morning and then our newest podcast to the uh pro wrestling junkies pod squad or brad and steven talk wrestling talking wrestling that drops every uh wednesday morning Awesome. So yes, go check out all the good stuff happening with Pro Wrestling Junkie. Make sure you subscribe so you can check out all the good stuff that we've got here, including the Wrestling Nerd Broadcast. And like we said, the first episode of that will drop on 316. What? I said 316. What? 
That's what? right. So we have a great idea that we want to do for this. So we want, we're going to put a uh, post in, uh, in the fan group and uh, maybe I'll pin a comment in this video as well. We want to answer your questions, whatever it's about. I don't care if it's what's your favorite day of the week, what's your favorite drink, what's your favorite rest. Ask us questions. We're going to just spend the entire episode answering them and we will answer the tough questions. Boxers or briefs, it's all on the table, ladies and gentlemen. We just won't swear. That's all it is. Yeah. Who do you think wins in a triple threat fight between Nick Ryan and myself? No, I say to the, to the listeners, I was like, come on, bring it on. You know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. That, that too. Yeah. Bring on your questions, but also ask who you think would fight win a fight between Nick Ryan and myself. So. Barbed wire explosion, man. Yeah, this guy, Nick. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just referee. I'll referee the match. How about that? I'll be so, the ring announcer. There we go. So uh, yes, ask us your questions for the episode on 316. Make sure you know the show that's going for. It's going to be the Wrestling Nerd Broadcast NRD for Nick, Ryan, and Dave, and of course the Double D for Dave and Dennis. Uh, we thank you for joining us on this episode. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe, join the micro brawler fan group. And until next time on behalf of myself, Nick, Ryan, and Dennis, we thank you for joining us. And until next time, don't forget to tell your mother you love her every day because like Kevin Durant said, mom, you're the real MVP. Good night, everyone. And God bless America. Welcome to my house. Baby, take control now. We can't even slow.